You know, when I first started out on this year take-ons, I never expected myself to do something heavy for a change. And I think that's really irrelevant to a lot of people when it comes to something like this. Here's the thing, guys. I try my best to stay as grounded as I can, though. While I am disappointed in the user of what I'm going to be talking about today, I don't want you guys going after this user. I don't want anyone going ahead and cyberbullying this user. That's not the kind of person I am. But for the purpose of this video, it's really hard for me to ignore something like this. Especially because I myself seem to have the more, shall we say, not easy route. I mean, let's talk about this for a sec. When it comes right down to it, though, I'm really not one to speak when it comes to something like this. Though, given the fact the subject we're going to be taking a look at today is not someone that I've always wanted to engage with. But for anyone who wants to bring me down, go right ahead. I probably deserve it at this point. So let's talk about Loud Convoy. I'm sure you guys probably already know what's going on around the internet these days, but if you don't, long story short, Loud Convoy has been being thrown around lately from the Senate. And as someone who's never been through the Senate, I can't really say hey, with only a decency of what's it like in there. Because personally, I don't really want to say this as in somebody who doesn't want anything to do with the Senate. I mean, let's be honest, though, guys. If you've never been through the Senate, even though I've never been through, but after listening to some calls, it's in one word, a jungle in there. And I'm not taking that word back as much as I hate to admit the word. It's a jungle in there, and honestly, that's the best way to describe it. It's wild. It can be a lot of people associating with bad people. And while I admit, yes, this is something that I didn't expect myself to get part of, I made it no secret that... I used to be a fan of Lyo. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not really subscribed to him anymore, but what I'm about to tell you guys may be a bit more controversial than it could be, though. Especially because if you've seen the internet these days, you may have noticed his channel is, well, it's still here, don't get me wrong, but it's one of those cases where I can't really muster up much, it really bothers me. Yeah, for those who don't know, Lyle Convoy is known on YouTube to be a predator hunter, and I myself don't want to be associated with that, but I will say, though, a predator hunter, I will admit that does sound like something that's pretty hard to do as a job, though, because let's be honest, though, when it comes right down to it, those predators need to be stopped at all costs. But given what I've seen so far from Patchwork Heart and and to Jordan and so many other users, that's really something that I can't really muster up for my own good, though. Because I'm probably going to get a lot of hate from this year's video, but by all means, I probably deserve it at this point. Because from what I've seen about these year videos, it's not really because Lyo himself is a predator hunter. That's not the real reason why he's really getting outed. I mean, if anything, though, that would be a dumb reason to out somebody if you think about it. No, it has something to do with the Senate call with Rosa Ray Ramsey. For those who don't know the backstory of Rosa Ray Ramsey, here's the quick synopsis, though. Rosa Ray Ramsey was starting out to press her Lyle by saying, if you don't stop, you'll end up on internet horrors when techno was still around. And we'll get to techno in a bit. As such, though, while... Hello told her to knock it off, though Techno decided to have both of them on the on his channel whilst he was still around, and to help them sort things out. This is when Rosa wanted to have Zaid Magenta, okay, Miss Anthropony, onto the internet horrors, though. Now, I myself watched that Senate call, not Senate call, though, Techno call, about a lot of times before it got deleted and then got archived by somebody. But it really remains to be said that I don't want to be anyone who's want to be something like that. Because, let's be honest here, guys. As somebody who's never been to talk to Lyo, I feel like he might call me out on this video. Now, don't get me wrong. I can't see where he's coming from to actually do so when it comes to having something like this. But... At the same time, going after a disabled woman who had nothing to do with this person 
and from the, from Rosa's and from Rebecca's server. It's really hard for me to actually muster that up, though. But let me tell you this, guys. That's not the only thing, though. Lyle actually did have Rosa come into his channel and then sort things out because she went, she still wouldn't leave Zayed alone when he was still around. But even with that said, however, I don't even know what to think about this anymore. I mean, it's bad enough there are some people out there who actually do deserve to be on Internet Horrors, even though that series is no longer with us. But it does have something to do with Lyo as it is, though. Namely, the fact that he himself goes ahead and just does something that sounds really, well, to put in a bluntly, really scary. I mean, yeah, I know Lyo is no stranger to being angry at times, which, at a few occasions, yes, I do understand where he's coming from, but... Going after Rosa, not once, but after after the live video, there was a four-hour Senate call. And I have to confess what I'm going to say here. I kind of wanted to comment on my thoughts on that video. Don't get me wrong, it's another video that's been archived, but after re-watching it, I must confess that I did kind of messed up by saying that I'm more mature than Rosa, which, Rosa, if you're watching this, I do apologize for my actions that time, though. I mean, you can say I'm a stupid flamingo that we can say that, because I'm not ashamed to admit I am pretty stupid at times, even at this occasion right here. But I must say, as someone who's been taking accountability, at least Techno actually took accountability for what happened, though. That said, Lyo himself was bringing into the dirt when it comes to having a history with it. I've heard it first from Patch and then some other users, but there's no way a, a god's a name of hell could actually just be the case, though. Because while I admit that as Lyle did say, and in his own verbal words, he did say he apologized to Rosa, I still have yet to ask the question of, of if she really forgave him in return though, which in all honesty, I don't know what else to say about Rosa's situation though. A lot of people tell me that she was in charge of the server when she should have been in charge, but honestly though, she wasn't really in charge, guys. That was Rebecca's server to ban Nekopon. And even with that said, Nekopon, if anything, maybe she was too hard to get banned out there. I wouldn't know. A lot of people tell me that Rosa actually didn't have enough power to ban Nekopon, even though his ass she did go to Rebecca, and some people say she didn't go to Rebecca. I have no idea what to think about at this point, because quite honestly, I don't know what to say about it to begin with. And that said, I think it's time I have to say about Lyo here. Now, I will say I started watching Lyo when he was helping out Opal during the time about the Lily Orchard situation, when someone was commenting in her video about how he was harassing her and just keep saying about how defending Lily Orchard is a good thing when they was talking about Stockholm and all that stuff. But honestly, I only you know, watched and subscribed to the channel because of curiosity. I mean, sure, there were times where I actually will say he had his fun moments, and I'm all grateful for that. But sadly, some grateful things have to come to an end. Especially for what I'm going to say for my thoughts on it. Now, what made me feel like I crossed the line with Lyo is not just with the Senate call with Aaron and the like. But it also has something to do with Techno as well, though. Now, he didn't really say this in a video, per se. But he did say it in a community post comment, which... I'm not going to show any screenshots, because if I do, I might get key hauled by his fans and some other people. But the way he said that techno, or, or good riddance techno, like, thank God he doesn't, he's not here anymore. Like, Lyo, you do realize that not everyone is going to trust you, right? Like, I may not have the best trust in a bond with a lot of people, but that's all I'm asking for is trust, sure, but... I wouldn't say that's really something like that. I mean, hell, even despite all that, at least Techno took responsibility and accountability for what he did. And then you just threw him under the bus when Techno had you in his channel not once, but twice. It really hurts me when I say this out loud because when you think about it, why would you say that to somebody? Somebody who had 
you on his channel. Like, we yeah, have Rosa. While I will admit she is you know, brain damaged and stuff like that from her seizures, even though seizures may cause a lot of, of stress and memory loss, though, I wouldn't say that was an excuse for her behavior. And to be honest, I do feel pretty stupid for saying that seizures don't give any reason, though. In a comment from Lyle's video about that taking uh, Rosa down a peg or two. Now, again, yes, I know Lyle said that he apologized, but the other thing I want to talk about is about with is Aaron. And honestly, while I don't want to say about too much about him in this video, because I am saving that for the next take on, I don't want to say this as in they're both horrendous people or something like that. I mean, for Lyo, I more think he's more of a disappointment to me than anything. And again, if Lyo is watching this, I just want you to know, Lyo, I'm not mad at you, but I am disappointed. Like, you can call me out if you don't like what I have to say here, sure, but even with that said, it still hurts me that you had to go ahead and say the techno good riddance in a community post to somebody else. Like, I may not have commented a lot on your videos, I may have commented a Patiently, but after that bit of incident right there, that's what made me feel like I was torn. And at least I can say with confidence, Techno did take responsibility and accountability for what he did. But then after that, there was something about Patchwork Heart. I don't know how many of you guys watch Patchwork Heart. I personally watched him occasionally when he did do his videos, even though, yes, just recently he did quit. Which is, yet again, another user that quit, because we haven't had enough of those yet this year. Yeah. I think what really bothers me more is how much a lot of people are just quitting, though. I can name a bunch of people who deleted their channels and outright quitted, but I'm not going to do that for you guys. I don't want to stretch the video about that too long, though. But those who deleted their channel were either people that either did something that really did deserve it, or they just you know, flat out didn't want to deal with the shit anymore. Like, I could name three people that you did take you know, like accountable, I will say that. Like, say, Joshua Vida, Coyote Lovely, and the Magenta, which, yeah, those people actually did deserve to get called out, I'm not gonna lie about that. But, it's really hard for me to say that this will something else that made me go pausing every now and then and it hurts me to this day saying that because it's really something that i can't really muster up in my own words it almost made me tear up on occasion but you know i think that's really what i have to say about youtube in a nutshell there are users out there that did not deserve it and other users that don't even have something like that but lyo i thought at first that yes again he did go to rebecca about this incident with the victim and her and her friend but even with that said however he was really calm when talking to Rebecca which I have no idea why clearly Rebecca was the one who ran the server and she had three child on her server even though this was more on the Nekopon situation but even with that said why would you be so calm about Rebecca when she was the one running the server when Rosa herself didn't have enough sway to do it, though? Like, that's just petty and messed up, though, to go after somebody who didn't even work up and do so already, though. Now, maybe I'm reading too much into it. I probably am. But maybe he you know, just didn't have enough patience with Rosa. Maybe with her disability. As someone who has a disability as long as well as her younger sister, I still have yet to ask. That's still pretty much messed up from my perspective, though. I know some people are going to say, though, that it doesn't matter if you have a disability or not, they're still going to call you out, though. Yeah, that's true. I will admit that. I mean, I will admit I do get called out for my stuff. But that said, however, I still don't understand what this has to delete. Go ahead and say, Lyo, you're going after the wrong person to do so. And while, yes, in this four hour Senate call, I did rewatch it before the Sierra video I'm trying to make, that still makes me wonder why didn't it take so long to do so? I mean, clearly Rosa had a learning disability.
correctly and with someone with learning disabilities of course it's going to be hard for them to understand about what's going on though around them but that still makes me wonder why would you do this to have no have, have no shame into things over look i watched a lot of these here calls with rosa and that call with Rebecca and the like, and Slyo, while he was more calm when he talked to Rebecca, I still have yet to ask, why were you so calm about someone who was running the server, yet you were going ahead out of your way to backlash, or in this case, verbally abuse someone who didn't really run the server? Like, I may not side with Rebecca, with Rosa either after what she said there, saying, oh, this was a long time ago. As someone who's been groomed, I know that really hurts. But even with that said, however, it still hurts me when... It comes from Lyo, who just went after Rosa more than Rebecca herself. Like, did Rebecca just dodge it and all that other stuff? Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. Because, really though, I would get more mad at Rebecca over Rosa because, again, she wasn't the one running the server. And what really angers me more inside, even though I don't want to show my anger because I'm more disappointed than ever, is how... Lyo was treating his kids. Okay, so what you need to know about this is that Lyo had kids that were, I think they said pretty much disowned because they wouldn't get along with Aaron. I think that was, I think that was the story. I could be wrong. You can comment on it if it's wrong or not because if I'm wrong about it or not because honestly, I took it from Patchwork Park though. He was the one who. Had a video about it and that's what made me rush over to see what was going on though and something about jordan who did something like that i do apologize if i say they them for jordan because i don't know their pronouns but what i do know is that it's really devastating for me to see how lyo is more willing to choose how choose aaron over his children why i mean you still have your friends, sure. By the end of the day, you'll still have your friends if you did nothing to throw them under the bus, that's sure. But even with that said, what's really hurting me more when doing this video is how, don't you realize, Lyle, your family comes first or for your friends? Like, don't get me wrong, you still have your friends with you by your side, but why choose your friends over your own family? Like, your family is something that should come first. You're there for them every single day for them. Even you know, ignoring that, though, speaking of that four-hour Senate call, though, I know I keep jumping around, though, but at least ponder Harley at TBS and whoever that other guy's name was, I can't really recall. You can put down in the comments as well because I really can't decide whether or not what's his name, though, so I can't really say. But what I can say to you guys is how much hurt I feel. Like, when doing this video, I didn't want to do this. And this isn't the only video I'll be doing. I do have other take-ons though, but Lyle was the one who actually felt like this was going to hurt my flamingo's back and everything. And I'm not saying this as in, haha, funny joke. I'm not joking for this. Hell, none of these take-ons are supposed to be funny jokes or anything. The people I've talked about, from Madeline to Rebecca and so many other people and the like, it still hurts me. That this had to happen like you can pretty much make mistakes here and there but isn't it best to fix them isn't that what mistakes are there for like that's what they're supposed to be there right i don't know what hurts me more the fact that i'm almost crying at this point that this hurts me when a lot of people just go after the wrong person for no fault of their own or the fact that they just thought this was something that they wanted to do though I don't understand. I don't understand anything about this no more. And it may seem like I'm about to cry and everything, but maybe because I am. Because deep down, I know that there are people out there who Lyle went after that really did need to get more. That's really something that I can at least say. But when something like this comes along, it hurts me more when I realize that so many people have been getting hurt on all that stuff. I know he said he's going to do a video about it when, I don't even know, because he's been, I guess, busy or distant, even though he said he's going to do a video about what he's been 
doing that's wrong and he'll own up to what he did maybe i don't even know for sure because there's something about this guy that made me raise a few eyebrows here and there like you're willing to take your friends aside but not choose the people who like your family and all that stuff like even if you don't like rosa which I, yes i didn't like rosa at first but after learning about the situation i took myself accountable for actually what i said though and believe it or not i don't want to go through the same situation again it's hard to go through these kind of situations like lyo you're a father and then your brother patchwork when he was there for you and you had to throw him under the bus like that it hurts me more than you may think i may not have any brothers even though i do treat my fans like family to me because i don't want anything bad happen to them i still want them to be safe from all of what's going and it even hurts me more when a lot of this stuff has been happening not just with lyle but with anybody out there in the real world though which makes me wonder what does youtube even do with say anything i get some people are gonna say to me that maybe they just want to do what's best for them to make their own content which yeah i mean everyone has a different content thing about going on though i don't know what my category falls under a lot aside from the writings even though i will be doing those writings and podcasts maybe in june or july i hope i get to do them sometime to entertain you guys but when it comes to these take-ons I do, it seems like more and more every day I think to myself, they should know better than this. Do they really expect others to believe this is how they're behaving? All because something happened? Like, yes, everything does happen for a reason, but that still doesn't excuse of why they act like shitty people, though. Again, I'm not being mad at Lyle, but I am disappointed. And I know some people are going to look at this and say, I should be mad, but I'm more mad at the fact that I used to be, I used to be a user on sub or subscriber on Miles' channel. I may not be the bravest, I may not be the smartest out there, but I do whatever I can to help out my fans and everything I've been going through. It even tears me up inside that I just want everyone to stay safe from other users, though. Like, Lyo, I know this video is more on focus on what Lyo did to Rosa and all that stuff, but really, a lot of people have already said what they wanted to say about this situation, from Kumo to Akuno and so many other users, which I know that some of them spread a little bit of have false information here and there though even though they could at least look into it more though but personally when it comes to lyle's decisions that's where i have to ask myself where's this going you mean to tell me lyle this is how you treat those around you and before you say anything maybe you're gonna say that his father was raised to a veteran war or something like that i wouldn't know because i don't know much about lyle's history all i know is that his channel while it does have his moments here and there at least he actually called out the people that did deserve it but the people who didn't deserve it makes me wonder where his channel is going to go from here i know he's going to say he's going to stay but it really hurts me more and more when i go to his channel and say wow his channel really dropped low like when i went to see his channel by the time i'm making this video he has about like he had 20k subs and then they dropped down to 18k subs at the point of making this video though like that's a very low brow way of seeing his subs unsubscribe like that <clears throat> now some people will say to me that yeah there are gonna be bad people out there that is true but that still begs the question of why is this really necessary to go ahead and say to the people who didn't even deserve it like if you don't like the person it's one thing you don't like the person sure but it's another when you realize they didn't even 
anything to hurt you, Lyle. I mean, you can still be a predator hunter. You can still go after those people because, let's be honest, those people do need to know some sense in their heads. But that said, I really can't help but think what I'm going to be doing, though. And this isn't the only part I'll be doing, though. When I do Aaron's channel, though, that's another take on, it's really something that I feel like a lot of people are going to get me all wound up about. For that matter, again, guys, I don't want you guys harassing these individuals. When I do my take-ons, I don't want anyone harassing, bullying, or, in this case, threatening them with anything, though. Because let's be honest, though, that's not going to help you out. It's not going to get you anywhere in life. And what's more, it's not going to help anyone else out. But I am saying this, though, to inform you guys to just be careful out there. Even, not just with Lyo, not just with Aaron, but with anybody out there. Because sooner or later, someone's going to be out there and say, you know, these people were something to me. But it hurts me when something like this does happen. I didn't want to do this video, but honestly, I want to get this guy out of the way so I can tell you guys how I feel about all of this. But I'm not mad, just disappointed. I should have been more pissed after how much he's thrown techno and a lot of people under the bus of that, though. But I don't know what to think about this, though. I may not have met Lyo in person or in the server or anything, but I don't plan on going that Senate. Like I said, it's a jungle in there. And I don't want to go into some much petty drama when it comes to that. Sure, I may have to sit down and listen to his videos to see what he has to say, though. But after reading so many comments on his latest video he did a month or two ago, yeah. I hate to say it, but that shows how much of his channel is going downhill. And again, I'm not doing this to say to Lyo that I'm pissed off at him. When I call somebody out, I'm more disappointed than I could be, though. Yeah, there are users I am pissed off about. But I'm... More disappointed in the fact that I used to be a fan of some of these users. I wasn't a fan of everybody, though, so when I do my take-ons, that's for sure. But when I do my take-ons, I just want you all to know, this is just me calling them out for what they have done. And honestly, I wouldn't have it either way, though. Now again, some people could say maybe I'm just reading too much into it, though. Maybe. But I still have yet to ask why this had to happen, though. because. Deep down, I thought they would be someone I could at least, well, not say they're the most greatest person out there. I would never say that. I mean, hell, that's bogus. But what I am saying is that I want to at least be decent, at the very least. They don't have to be incredible, like, say, Superman, or in this case, someone who wanted to watch Thundercats from myself and see what's it like. Not Thundercats Roar, not the reboot, but Thundercats in series. But when something like this happens, not just with Thundercats in any other media, but when something like this ruins my chance of watching something like this, I sit down and say to myself, I didn't bring this onto anyone else. I brought this onto myself. I should have known better. Like, you're talking to a flamingo who, for the most part, may not be really someone that's great. I would never call myself a great person. Hell, I'm nowhere near the best person. I can be pretty much an average person at best. I'm average. I'm nowhere near awesome enough to tell that, though. But I still support a lot of the people I can trust every now and then. I know this video sounds more like I'm devastated, but that's because I am. I'm devastated of the fact that Lyo, someone who, for the most part, helped out a lot of people, had to do this shit. And I still don't understand why, though. Maybe I'm reading myself into a curve. Maybe I am. But I still don't understand why they had to do this. Was it because they had too much in their minds? Was it something that they couldn't get over? Or was it because they just don't know what to do next? Because it's okay to take breaks once in a while, don't get me wrong. But with those breaks every now and then, I still have yet to ask, why though? Like, 
Did you really think that someone's gonna be by your side and to say, oh, I can trust you more than anyone else? Now, I will say yes. Nowadays, it's hard to find trust people. I will say that. But to the people who do trust someone, though, make sure they don't do anything harmful. Not just to you, but to anyone else out there. It's best to trust those around you who do trust you back. And I wouldn't want anyone to throw anyone else under the bus, but again, I'm not their narrator. I'm not their boss. I'm not their controller. I'm just saying this from someone who wants to see the best in the light, though. And while I am doing another take on as soon as I can, though, this was one that I had to do, though. Like with Rebecca, this was a user that I used to follow. But I can say with confidence, unlike like Rebecca, I can say that I'm not the not gonna say I'm just disappointed though. I'm, but while I am pissed in my mind, I didn't want to show my, my piss off anger in front of Lyle like that. Because I know he would jump at my throat. I know he would. And let's be honest though, even if he did find this video, which is upon tons and tons of Lyle Convoy videos, especially with Aaron, I still don't know what's gonna happen with these two men. These two, for the most part, are people I used to follow. And I'm still hurt. This is what happened, though. Like, I know that the video has been archived, and a lot of people seem to go out of their way just to say, oh, but it's... let me say this to you guys. Even if Rosa does have a disability, we shouldn't be going out of our way to say this kind of stuff. We shouldn't be. Because let's be honest, it would probably bite us in the ass at the end of the day anyway. I know it bit me in the ass at the end of the day. But I know for a fact a lot of people are going to look at this video and say, Hey, come on now, Flamingo. Just move on from the drama. Don't stop. Just because something moves on from drama, that doesn't mean everything's going to stop. Hell, it can be almost like a plague when you don't know when it'll end. You don't know when it'll stop. And that's something I can't <laughs> understand and see. Some people could say I'm probably reading too much into it, and you're probably right. Maybe I am. But that said, however, I don't know what else to say about this. Like, I know I'll be doing more take-ons, especially with Aaron next time, though I don't know when exactly. But I know deep down inside, I know there's something in them that they want to say for themselves. If they do have something to say, then they should say it, though. But with Lyo, I'm sorry to say this, Lyo. I just feel disappointed. I'm not saying this as in I want to break the computer and all that stuff. No, I'm not expecting everyone to think my anger is something like that. I hate to show anger. I really do. I did show my anger at myself for what I have said to myself. But at least I took accountability for what I've done, said, and what I have created. And besides, you can't uncreate the things you've created. And you can't run away from your problems either. Eventually, they're going to catch up with you. And that's what happened to me. My problems cut off with me. I may not be the best fixer of something, but at least I did my best to fix them. But even with that said, though, I still hope and pray that if this video does get found, by his fans. Please, so you know. I just don't want anyone going ahead and attack. No one should attack anybody. But I know that a lot of people are going to say to me, you think it's all sunshine and rainbows. Like what trolls would say. Well, the movie trolls from DreamWorks, but still. But I know I still feel hurt about this. You can go ahead and hate me for making this video. Go right ahead. I don't care. But when I'm disappointed... I really am disappointed. There's nothing I could say about it other than the fact that was this really necessary? For someone who helped other people out, for someone who went out of their way just to go ahead and do shit like this, it not only pisses me off inside, it also deteriorates what I've seen from people. And I know that it's hard to stay afloat. I know it is, but hey, it's okay to take a break once in a while and 
outside the computer screen and other devices. It's okay. As long as you're not hurting anyone, like you're like say your friends or anybody, there's nothing wrong with uh, taking a break every now and then. I mean, hell, my mental issues aside, and while my mental health has been damaged enough, I still don't know what to say about this. Other than the fact that, yeah, it's going to be hurtful when I start saying to people that my take-ons are nothing to sneeze at. I know you guys really love my take-ons, but even I'll admit it hurts me when I do them. Because... I don't know what made them begin to do this in the first place. With Lyo, I didn't want to do this at all, though. But given the fact with the drama, I decided, hey, why not? I mean, yeah, yeah, I will say, I am disappointed. I am pissed. But I'm not going to show my anger. I'm not. But I am really upset about what happened. Just remember this, guys. Don't go ahead and harass Lyo. He doesn't deserve it. He's been tossed around and around, and while he does have those moments, they're nowhere near as bad as, as some other users out there, at least from my perspective. Like, you can go ahead and say these things all you want about how much of a, a complete knockout he's been and how much he's been made fun of and all that. You can do that if you want, but it's not going to help out anyway. I suggest you guys can just do one thing for me, though. If you guys want to, please, for the life of me, don't send this video to Lyo, because I know he's going to reach out to me and say, oh, you have no right to do this, and probably want me on his Discord server, but just for the record, I don't want to be on Discord servers. I don't want to be on any server for that matter. Even if I was part of a server, I wouldn't know how to say it, though. So again, this isn't me threatening Lyo. This isn't me hurting him. This isn't me saying, oh, you deserve it. No, I'm not saying those things. I would never say that. Unless they're people that piss me off, I would say. But with Lyo, yeah, I hate to say this, Lyo, but again, you really disappointed me. I thought you were someone I could at least trust, though. I know I've never talked to you. I know I've never met you. But even with that said, I don't know what else to say at this point. And I feel like I'm going to be on commentary. I feel like I am. But I just wanted to get my words out of how I feel about all of this. From the Senate to his family and everything. It still hurts. Deep down. I know that a lot of people are going to say I brought this upon myself. Which, yeah, you can go ahead and say it. You can say I brought it up to myself. But yeah. Other than that, I didn't want to do this video. But... But until then, thank you all so much for listening. Hopefully the next take on, which I'll probably do sometime in next week, because I want to try to do as much take on as I can before May. But until then, thank you all so much for listening. And I'll see you all next time. And as always, stay flamingo-tastic. I'll see you all later.